Hi, my name is Trev Hutchings, and this is my guide to the Deessa in BandLab. The Deessa is a special type of compressor that specifically targets the S sound in your vocals and reduces the volume of the S. At the bottom of the voice record screen, tap on Effects. Just below the None icon, tap on Create. At the top right of the effects screen, tap on the plus icon. Scroll through the tabs at the top of the effects screen and tap on the dynamics tab. Then tap on DSR. Drag the dot on the line to the right of the word frequency to the left or right to set the audio frequency center point. The center point is the frequency that will have the most S reduction. Think of this as fine tuning, so the difference at the different frequencies won't be dramatic or particularly obvious. Unless you can hear a noticeable difference, I would suggest setting it between 6000 and 7000 Hz for female vocals and between 5000 Hz and 6000 Hz for a male voice. The frequency selected is shown just below the word frequency. Usually for my voice I set the frequency to about 5000 Hz. Drag the dot on the line to the right of the word threshold to the left to increase the amount of the S that the DSR will remove. The amount of reduction is shown just below the word threshold. How far you move the dot to the left depends on how obvious the S sound is, but it will apply the same amount to the whole track. So do check the S sound along the whole track and make sure all the S's still sound natural. I usually drag the dot to the left until it says about minus 30 dB below the word threshold. To test, I suggest you loop a small section of the track. Then move the dot on the line to the right of the word threshold to the left. Now press the play button at the bottom of the screen and tap on the bypass toggle at the top right of the effect to turn the effect on and off so you can check how much of the S has been removed. Now adjust it to the left or right until you have the right amount of the effect. Then try moving the dot on the line to the right of the word frequency to make a fine adjustment if needed. Finally, tap on the back arrow at the top left of the effects screen. Then tap on the X icon at the top right of the FX screen. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.